the third gen. And this thing looks freaking mint. We're gonna get back on over to the house and we're gonna do a full in-depth and overview of this truck, what all we did and how it looks. I think you guys are gonna really love it. Four grand out the door. Yep. You serious? Is that firm? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, probably can't do the four grand out the door because that's what it cost me in paint and brush repair. But anyways, guys, check this thing out. So it's back from the paint booth, clearly. See ya. I'll see you later. Might be slinging some arrows and filming hunts this weekend. But anyways, so third gen is back from the paint booth. We're gonna go over everything that was done to the truck. And also, I want to remind you guys really quick, early on in this video, that right now, 20X entries are live for these last like three days of the Whistling Diesel first gen giveaway. So if you wanna win his previously owned green first gen Cummins plus $5,000 cash, every $1 you spend gets you 20 entries. You can win that truck plus $5,000 cash. All I'm saying is I wouldn't waste any time if you wanna get in on that, stuff does sell out. So if you wanna get an order in before everything sells out, the giveaway is ending in, I think, like I said, I think it's like three days and link is in the description, lmpgear.com. So anyways, I told you guys I did a couple things different to this truck that weren't originally done to the truck and we're gonna go over those things. So the things that we did that were different, here's we had paint match to the truck along with the bumper. We had that paint matched as well. The dually fenders repainted because they were fading a little bit on top. We had the rockers fixed on both sides. Let me show you. The door's open here. Rockers were fixed on both sides. You can see a, a dust line right there. That's just dust from uh, this old, dirty old rubber door seal on there. But um, rockers on both sides replaced and cab corners. That was all cut out and redone. You can see the front half here. Looks really good. He also put rock guard on there just to kind of help us a little added protection, I guess you could say. But these rockers are actually pretty well covered by the doors. And then of course this side, rocker and cab corner needed replaced as well. So he got to do some cutting and welding on this side. You can see all that. It was uh it was gone, but it's it's back now. If it'll focus. Come on. Come on, there you go. You can see the uh, the rocker there. It's really hard for it to focus. Everything's just kind of blending together all in one big shadow right here, but um, looks really, really good. He also had to repaint the entire hood of the truck. The hood was pretty, pretty faded. So the hood will pretty much like this whole center part was just like, my dad calls it heifer hood when all the clear coats just peeling off and that's exactly what it was doing on this truck. So we had the whole hood stripped down and redone. He also painted the grill to match. I think the grill was just like that flat black like color that like typical aftermarket black grills come. It's kind of like a flattish black color. Well, uh, that is all now paint matched to the truck. Here is the mirror on the passenger side. And then what he also did, oh, that shiny paint is just, new paint is just awesome. <laughs> but, so he repainted the truck from here. He basically took the rocker in the cab corner and he followed the same paint line on this section of the truck all the way up. And then he redid the entire, let me get in the bed here. He redid the entire top of the truck. So the entire roof of the truck is redone. It looks so much better. This was all faded, all, uh, marred up, scratched up. I mean, it was pretty bad. I mean, you can see little pieces like on top of the bed rail here. So that all had to get stripped down and redone. But I mean, it looks really good now. And that's pretty much everything that we did to the truck. And I think it turned out really good. Wasn't the cheapest thing, but it just made the truck really show its true potential in terms of what it can really be. And I'm just super satisfied with how it turned out. Like I said, guys, we are giving away this truck. So if you want to enter to win this truck, 
head on over to our website, buy anything off the store, and you're automatically entered to win. And it's literally that simple. A lot of people ask, well, how do I know my entries are tracked? How do I know if I got entries? And so on and so forth, which is very understandable because sometimes you just don't know or realize how it's all done. Well, the way our website is set up is to where as soon as you place an order, you are required to put in your phone number, your email, and your first and last name when you go to check out. What happens then, as soon as you click place order, and your order is done and you get your confirmation, your entries are submitted under that order number with your name, phone number, and email, and all your other information that you put in for your shipping and all that. That is how we track exactly who to contact. When we have a winner drawn through a third party agency, all the information is right there in front of them so they know exactly who you are, how to get a hold of you, and where you're from. So that it makes the drawing process super easy to get a hold of the person and to identify who exactly won the truck. So it's very simple, it's very straightforward. We've had guys win from us who literally bought one keychain. And then we've had guys win from us that bought a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff. It's just all random. There's no science to it. It's not like, oh, the guy who spends the most money wins or the guy who spends almost the most money wins. Like it's it's not, it's not how our giveaways work. That's not how we draw winners. It's completely by random. And nobody who is related to us, works with us, has worked with us, anything related in that sense is even eligible to win. So the truck can only go to somebody completely unassociated with us directly. So it's super unbiased, it's fully legitimate, it's 100% registered and bonded with the United States and Canada. Thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't a very long one, but I've gotta get on the road and uh, go hang out with some friends. We'll catch you guys in the next video, peace.